Hello, my name is Randy Riggins. I'm an engineering manager for Adobe Systems. I'm from East Oakland, California. What I do here at Adobe, I work in the digital media area where we make products for filmmakers, photographers, graphic artists, desktop applications like Photoshop and Illustrator. Those are our traditional products. But now that everything's on the web and mobile apps, we're making more services and online things that you can get access to. Currently, I work on Project 1324. 1324, that's a code name for youth 13 to 24 years old. And what that is, is we try to work with young folks that aspire to be filmmakers, photographers, graphic artists. We try to help support and connect them to reach their dreams, basically. Yeah, working at Adobe is like, you know, tech companies nowadays, they have lots of different amenities for you. You have gym, basketball, lots of great benefits, really cool food, really cool facilities. I mean, they really want you to be here and they call it a campus, to be at this campus and enjoy it and take, take advantage of all the things that it offers. Yeah, I feel I'm making a really good living here at, at Adobe. Uh, tech in general pays really well. My pay is kind of three parts. I have a base salary, I typically get a bonus, and then I get stock allocation from the company. Those all add up to hundreds of thousands of dollars on a yearly basis. I've been able to help a lot of people in my family as well as my immediate family and kids, and it's been a great career for me. My career path really started after high school because when I graduated high school, I really didn't have a lot of direction of money. It was a really kind of crazy time in Oakland with uh, drugs and, and violence, and uh, I was kind of mixed up in it a little bit. I had my daughter soon after graduating high school, and uh, she inspired me to change my station in life. So I took whatever money I had and went and got what they call nowadays like a nano degree in electrical engineering. So I got that degree, I really worked hard, and I got my first job down here in Silicon Valley. You know, I had a pretty hoopty car that only went 45 miles an hour and I drove it from Oakland to Sun Sunnyvale to, to kind of make my way down here and finally kind of saved up enough money to move down here and, and then pursue my career. I really like audio video products so I kind of follow jobs that let me get into that and that's what led, led me to Adobe. I work with a lot of people that had degrees from lots of different high places, and MIT and Berkeley and Stanford and uh, it was a little intimidating for me for a while. I had to get used to it. I actually didn't want to tell them I was from Oakland because they had such a bad connotation and I, I kind of felt inferior to them. What I found out over the years is that I was just as smart as they am. I had different ideas. I came from a different perspective. So that diversity that I brought to the team and product development actually served me well in my career. One of the most stressful times in my career is when we founded a startup with a number of friends. We got two and a half million dollars worth of money from an investor to develop this touchscreen video transmission product. And we had like 15 months to deliver the product. We were working you know, six days a week, as long as we could. Starting that company, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, even though it was a lot of stress and challenging, like, that was one of my, the funnest times I had, and that was a super talented team. We played basketball on Friday afternoons, or rode bikes, or did something to kind of break up the, the work. I left that company, but I'm still really close friends with everyone there. There's a couple of people there that actually work with me here at Adobe. 10 years ago, that company got sold for $85 million. Um, so it actually ended up, we all got some money out of it. But even though it sold for $85 million, it wasn't like I got you know millions of dollars of checks because over the years we needed more funding and more investors. So my share kept getting smaller. Although when it got sold, you know, it, 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 it was worth it. <laughs> I think anyone can get into this field as long as they put some work into it. The one thing I love about technology these days is it's very much accessible. Like you can find, online guidance if you want to build a mobile app and there's lots of online courses. If you have a great idea, you can pursue it and build it. There's game development with Unity that has a lot of support for doing things. So as a young person, if you're interested in technology, there's, there's lots of ways to get involved. You know, it's kind of easy for me to sit here and say, uh, you know, find out what your passion is and just follow that and go after that. And there's a lot of truth in that. But, you know, where I came from, I needed to pay some bills and take care of things too. So I think there's got to be a balance. You master some skills so you can get, you can create a job and get some income. You can change your station in life and or your families. And that's going to allow you to then pursue your real dreams that you might have. And you know, I got lucky that the things that I mastered, like writing code, kind of merged into the passion I had around audio and video. I think you also want to make sure that um, you can take care of yourself while you pursue those dreams and pursue your education. And then just never letting anyone tell you you can't do what, what you think you can do. You'll find roadblocks, but you, gotta, you have to keep pushing. Not everyone's out there looking out to help you. A lot of people are, but you have to stay persistent. <laughs>